Hey everyone, Donna Vincent here coming to you live from Pennsylvania. Are you one of the 80% of Americans who are suffering from some form of adrenal exhaustion? If you're someone who wakes up in the morning and feels more tired than when you went to bed, if you're craving salty foods, and I'll be talking about that in this video, if you're fatigued throughout the day and it's been more than a couple days and you feel you have more energy at night, are you overusing stimulants such as caffeine and you're drinking more coffee but you're not feeling that energy? You may have an adrenal issue. 80% of Americans are suffering. In this video, I'll give you some tips for eating right for adrenal fatigue. Welcome to my video. Again, my name is Donna Vincent, your healthy family mentor, here to help you take care of your family and your pet's health holistically and naturally so you can all enjoy healthier, longer lives together. So what is adrenal fatigue? This is the definition, and I'll read it to you. It's a group of diverse symptoms that present due to underfunctioning and depletion of key neurotransmitters and hormones produced by the adrenal glands, the HPA axis, thyroid gland, and often reproductive glands. For those of us suffering adrenal issues, we just know we feel really tired. Adrenal fatigue isn't something that happens after one stress. And stressors can be physical, emotional, psychological, environmental. So there's a lot of different stressors in our lives that can drain and deplete our adrenals. So it is a cumulative effect. It's not something if you're tired for a couple days. It goes on and on. And I was diagnosed with adrenal issues probably about 15 years ago. It was a while ago. And I took the test, cortisol test, and there are four stages. And luckily, because of the lifestyle I lead, I never got to stage four, thankfully, because I can't imagine how that would feel. So, but what I found recently, the last couple of years, I've been having a number of fatigue problems. And about four months ago, I found a product that has really changed my energy level along with the suggestions I'll be giving to you today on eating right for adrenal fatigue. The first one is don't skip breakfast. Your body's already gone about 12 hours without any food, so your blood sugar level is low. But you don't want to run out and get donuts or bagels. Look for low glycemic foods such as oatmeal and then proteins eggs protein shake get a high quality protein shake they're quick they're easy most people say they don't have time for breakfast but and protein shakes is a quick easy way to get protein into your body to get your blood sugar back stable are you getting enough salt and this may sound strange because you're usually told to cut back on salt but when you have adrenal fatigue, most people have a lower blood pressure and you're losing sodium in your cells. But you don't want regular processed table salt. What you want to look for is quality Himalayan sea salt or just regular sea salt in moderation. Don't go crazy on the salt just because you may think you need more salt in moderation and quality Himalayan sea salt or regular sea salt. And along with that goes getting enough fluid. Here's the rule of thumb for water. Take your body weight in pounds, divide it by two, and that's the ounces of water you want to drink per day. For example, if you're about 150 pounds, you want about 75 ounces of water or fluid, and that's about nine cups. So that's the rule of thumb for how much water you should consume per day. Next, don't skip meals. And that goes along with not skipping breakfast. Have your breakfast, have a snack, have lunch, have a snack, and have your dinner. And I'll be talking about different foods that are helpful for people with adrenal issues. Eat smaller meals every three to four hours. Keeps your blood sugar stable. Low and high blood sugars will burn out your adrenals as well as too much caffeine will burn out your adrenals. So eating every three to four hours is helpful. Avoid genetically modified foods. Avoid sugar. Avoid the processed foods. Stick with whole foods, veggies, and avoid those processed foods. Stick with high quality foods. 
So the, here's the tips for you. Make sure you don't skip breakfast. You may need salt, which sounds strange, but make sure it's Himalayan sea salt or sea salt, not processed table salt, and in moderation. Make sure you're getting enough fluids. Hey, Carolyn. Make sure you're getting enough fluids and make sure you're not skipping meals. If you have any questions or you want to know what's really helped me in the last four months, just reach out to me. Please share this with others who may benefit. Questions or comments, post them below. I do always come back and check. Again, my name is Donna Vincent, your healthy family mentor, here to help you take care of your family and your pet's health holistically and naturally so you can enjoy healthier, longer lives together. Thanks, everyone, for jumping on. I will talk to you again soon. Have a great rest of your day.